Hello and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name is Chris Cubbage. I'm the editor with My Security Media. Today we're crossing to Singapore with Chet Lam Lek, the managing director with Xperia Events, leading up to the Singapore Space Summit 2026. Chet Lam, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Uh, look, it's a real pleasure. This is an inaugural event alongside the Singapore Air Show Space Summit 2026, second to the third of February. Uh, well underway now, only less than four weeks to go uh, before we are heading up to Singapore. Very pleased to be media partners uh, as well, and we'll be on the ground there. Um, and we've also spoken to Jonathan Hung, the uh, Executive Director with Austin, the Office of Space Technology and Industry. So we've had a bit of an insight into in terms of the, the summit. Maybe a, a highlight to some of the keynote speakers, your sponsors, and some of the key themes you've got going on. Um, yeah, you're right. Uh, no, we're just like uh, four, three, four weeks away. So it's an inaugural edition. Uh, we're very excited. And um, yeah, the lineup, it's, uh, I think it has been very encouraging. Uh, we've got key sponsors, uh, Singapore Technologies uh, Engineering Company is one of them, Airbus, um, and you've got so many, Leonardo, uh, Viaset, uh, IHI, you know, speakers also from the industry. Um, also, space agencies are attending it. We have a long list of space agencies that are going to be attending uh, the Space Summit. So really, I think the lineup is uh, very, 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 has, the sign-up has been very good. Uh, response has been very good. And um, we're really looking forward to a two days of a very good conference, uh, whereby, you know, we have the space agencies present. We have got uh, senior leadership, uh, policy makers, industry leaders, uh, really looking forward to a very engaging two days of conference so that um, really all the ecosystem can come together and good discussions and chart the future of the space industry globally and also in the Asia. Well, Pacific. the other aspect is it's alongside the International uh, Singapore Air Show. So I take it that's a whole week of events. This is just two days uh, focusing in on space, but it does encapsulate a whole week of aerospace activities as well. Yes, that's right. So I think you, you touch on a point. It's uh, to be held alongside Singapore Air Show. So Space Summit happens from 2nd to 3rd of February, and the Singapore Air Show will be from the 3rd to the 8th of February. And this year, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, this year, our Singapore Air Show will be the 10th edition. Yeah. So we've been around for two decades, 20 years, because the Air Show happens uh, once every two years. Yeah. So I think the 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 what you mentioned is yeah we we the question is yeah why why now I mean I mean many people be asking yeah why now I guess if you if you get a few a few considerations a few factors um, if you look at the market uh, the space economy or space domain if you call it it's growing and it's growing aggressively and very fast um, based on studies from McKinsey. In 2023, it was a US $630 billion industry. And the forecast is going to grow to 1.8 trillion US dollars in 2035. Uh, so if you work that out, it's about uh, close to 9 to 10% compound annual growth rate, which I think is tremendous growth rate. So there is this growing business. And yeah, as usual, Asia Pacific is a driving factor in uh, creating this growth and also Very much, um, well we'll link into our interview with jonathan hung as well in terms of uh singapore sees itself as a regional hub uh for asia pacific as well right correct correct so you know the business is growing asia pacific is a key driver and what you mentioned and what jonathan mentioned singapore you know is a keynote as far as uh space aerospace and space is concerned because, you know, as is uh, space applications, right, it's across aviation, it's across maritimes, across defense, across communications, across broadcasting, across land transport, and all of this, Singapore is a key leader in all these areas. So it's just, it's just, the time is just right. Absolutely. And also our air show, having been through 10 editions, we have been also hearing from our exhibitors that it's time for them to have a dedicated uh, domain for space discussions. Uh, because we have companies exhibiting the air show that also are in space. You know, Airbus, Boeing, the, you know, Lockheed, they're all having businesses in space, defense, commercial. And they say that, yeah, it's about time. So we are hearing the feedback and we're acting on it. 
So very excited, Space Summit, inaugural edition, to second to third February, 2026. Wonderful. And look, there's no uh, no uh, reason why you don't get the Europeans and the Americans here. You mentioned you've got representations from Brazil, I see, uh, Germany, uh, as well as Southeast Asia, Thailand and Malaysia in particular there, uh, and some of the partners, space faculty uh, and SIA in India also. So look, it is, is set to be a great event. It's an inaugural event as part of the uh, international air show there in Singapore. Uh, and uh, Chat Lemlek, the Managing Director with Xperia Events, responsible for putting it all together as well as Managing Director. Thanks once again for joining us on Australia in Space TV and we'll see you on the 2nd to 3rd February 2026. Thank you. See you soon.